Welcome to a special edition of Studio Central Face to Face. I'm Jim Allred filling in for normal host Doug Walker. He looks a lot better on camera than I do. I apologize for that, but I had to be on this one as my tag team partner from Gridiron Central, Matt Davis, is joining us today. <laughs> Got to do the fist Got bump to, if man. Matt Davis is here. And we're going to talk about the fourth edition of Battle of the Bands. And I am really excited about this, but I know someone who's even more excited. That's the man sitting next to me. Matt, how excited are you for this year's version of the event? Very excited about it because, you know, this will be our fourth year doing the event. And I really feel like this year, it's going to be taken to a whole new level. I know I say that every year, but obviously with any event you're involved in, every year you want it to go to a new level. And the reason I say that this year is because we have some different partnerships involved this year that I really think are going to help us you know, achieve our goal. And we'll talk a little bit about, about our goals a little Certainly. bit later on, I'm sure. But, um, you know, of course, we're partnering with the newspaper again, and we appreciate that. Rome News Tribune's been a partner with us on this event every year that we've done yeah. it. And, of course, we couldn't do it without you guys. And, of course, your efforts, uh, personally, I just want to say thank you for oh, that. Oh, anytime. I, like, honestly, man, without you guys, this event is not a success. So uh, the Rome News Tribune, this year, we're, we're partnering up with the Historic DeSoto Theater Foundation. And so our event will be at one of the most historic buildings in downtown Rome. And in Rome, um, the DeSoto Theater, which we're very excited about that. We've also partnered um, with Cancer Navigators of Rome. And so all the money that we raise this year will go to the Cancer Navigators, which is a great cause that helps do what the name would imply, navigate people that are going through cancer. So, you know, it's going to be a fun event. It's going to be great music, great entertainment. It's going to be a fun contest process. And at the end of the day, it's all for a good cause. It's a win-win every way you look at it. And I understand that y'all now, we now have a title sponsor for this whole shindig. That's correct. That is, uh, we saved the best for last. This year, State Mutual Insurance has stepped up as our title sponsor. And so that allows us to do some things this year that we haven't been able to do in the past. And, um, and they really stepped up big, as they often do. And they're a great community partner and big supporters of the Cancer Navigators. And so we'd like to thank D. Yancey and, of course, State Mutual Insurance for joining us this year and, you know, our efforts to put together a good contest. And I think that takes it also to a whole new level, having that title sponsor. Gotcha. And now, I know it's the fourth year of this, but there may be a few people out there that haven't heard of it somehow or another. What is Battle of the Bands? Well, basically, um, it's something that came up several years ago as an idea that somebody threw out there for me attached to another event and said, let's do this as a part of this event. And I said, you know what? We've never thought about doing anything like that. Let's do it. And so it, it was born right there in that instant. We just said, we're going for it. So basically what it is, is we invite bands to um, send us MP3s of their songs, some information, and then of course we get this contest going where we have an online voting process and then, um, so basically they'll battle it out in terms of getting out there and promoting themselves and letting their fans know that they're in this contest and kind of pump it up that way. And then it moves on to a live audience uh, portion uh, once we get it to that point, and, um, and, which is really awesome because that's where the Historic DeSoto Theater comes in. And, and eventually we'll narrow it down to a Final Four, if you will, and those bands will actually perform in front of the live audience at the DeSoto Theater and battle it out, so to speak, and have a showdown. So it's a process that takes a couple of months for, in terms yeah. of the contest, but doing that way, it gets the bands played on the radio, they get their names mentioned in the newspaper, uh, of course, they get on their Facebook pages and social media, which last year was the first year where we really saw social media yeah. become an influence on how the contest goes and the ability for bands to get it out there and let people know they're involved in it. So, um, you know, that's kind of the essence of what the battle is about. And it all culminates with the event that takes place where the bands just have their showdown. And it always turns out to be an excellent event. And it's amazing to me the amount of talent and the amount of bands that we have in this area um, that want to get out there and participate. And we've had a, just a tremendous variety of different kinds of music involved in the contest. I mean, we've had country, hip hop, rock. Uh, we had a group that signed up for it last year that was kind of like a psychedelic um, fusion jazz kind of thing. I mean, you name it, there, that type of music has been involved in this contest at some point or, or another over the last four years. Gotcha. Definitely a wide variety of music artists. I remember hearing a bunch of the different songs. Let's go to the here and now. I'm in a band. I want to get involved in this contest. What do I need to do? It's very simple. There's no entry fee. I know some of the contests like this, um, you know, would charge an entry fee or something like that, but we don't ask for bands to do that. 
uh, basically what you have to do is send three mp3s and that way we can get a good feel of what the music and what the band is all about from having those few songs then we also need a high resolution band photo the reason why we need that is if you get through to be one of the finalists we put together a website in which we will put your photos and all your information your songs and that kind of thing and kind of make a little profile for you and um, and then also um, i've said the high res photo mp3s we also need contact information yeah. of who will be the point of contact for your band and then a short bio so that we can know a little bit about your band and um, i was talking earlier about the process and of course the online voting and basically the way it works is you know we'll take all the submissions and i think one year we had like 50 bands yeah. that entered and then eventually we'll narrow it down to a number say 16 we might have a sweet 16 this year and um, the way that it is narrowed down is there'll be a panel of people that are involved in music in various ways and from different backgrounds that will sit down and basically judge the music at that point and pick the top 16 bands that will go through to the next level, which is the online voting process. Gotcha. And then the fans at that point will have the opportunity to go online and vote. And this year we're going to be taking donations for votes that will go to Cancer Navigators and that will whittle it down to the final four that will play at the DeSoto Theater. So basically, um, just to answer your question, obviously send it through email, and my mm -hmm. email address is mattd at the ridge 957com And so you'll email all that information to me, or you can send it through the mail if you prefer to do that. You know, what is this mail you speak of? Oh, I know. Do people even do that anymore? You'd be surprised. Uh, we might have a few that send it in that way, and we want to make it as easily accessible as possible for people to enter. And if that's the way they prefer to do it, you know, that's fine with us. Um, but the address to send it to is the radio station, 95.7 The Ridge, 2 Mount Alto Road, Rome, Georgia, 30165. Awesome. Yeah. Now, online voting process goes, you pay for the votes, you will it down to, is it going to be a final four, final six, how yep. many? We're going to have a final four. Final four. What, take me through that day. Obviously, the DeSoto Theater, that's going to be an awesome venue for it, but what's going to happen on the day of the event itself? Well, basically what will happen is each band will have about a 15-minute set, and they will get up there and perform their best stuff um, that they can bring, try to get the crowd into it, um, show their originality. There'll be a bunch of different um, you know, criteria that the judges will be you know, judging their performance on. And then after each band gets their 15 minutes, we'll randomly, by the way, select the order in which they go. Um, after each band gets their 15 minutes, the judges will have the opportunity to pick the final two. And okay. so there'll basically be a playoff. Um. Well, the final two bands, uh, they will go head to head and they'll each play another additional, I don't know, say a 10 minute set. Gotcha. And then from that, the judges will be able to determine who is gonna be the judge's choice award winner. And then um, going back to the online voting process, um, the online voting process, and then also there'll be an opportunity for fans that are in the crowd to vote uh, for their favorite band at the DeSoto Theater. Um, that is how we're going to determine the people's choice. So it okay. will literally be the people's choice. So there'll gotcha. be a judge's choice, a people's choice. And we're really excited because we're putting together some prize packages this yeah. year that are going to be every year we've had so far. Uh, one of the prizes, the judge's choice will have the opportunity to have their own gig at the Brew House uh, Bar and Grill. That's awesome. Uh, music and Grill, I think, is how they term that. Of course, we've partnered up with Jay Shell down yep. there, and we really appreciate it. Well, they do a really good job there with all the bands they put on, for sure. They do, and that's a highly coveted place for bands to want to play here in downtown. And um, So this will be an opportunity for them to get their foot in the door there. And then also, the People's Choice Award winner is going to have the opportunity to play at the October Broad Street Block Party. Oh, the that's first cool. Friday concerts with the Downtown Development Authority, which we've also partnered with them on this. Yeah. And that's huge. I mean, that's an opening slot, but this is an opportunity for that band to get in front of maybe even four or 5,000 people. Yeah, without a doubt. Because the first time they did the block party, it was, it, huge. Was, it was humongous. So, you know, for me, this event, I like it because you're able to do a lot of things with one event. Number one, our goal is to raise money for Cancer Navigators of Rome, Georgia. We're also able to raise a lot of awareness about what they do. And yeah. that way people can seek them out and know this resource is available, which is very important. You get tons of exposure for these bands, yeah. and some of these bands might not know of outlets to get themselves out there yeah. uh, on a platform like this that's involved with the newspaper and the radio station and a venue such as this and the prizes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's, that's why the event has been so much fun 
for me to work on, and I, I know you feel the same way. Oh, Everybody definitely. Everybody else involved is because you can do so many different things with it. Yeah. So. Well, that's good, and that's one of the big things too. I think people, you know, it, it raises money for charity, which is very important, but it, it, which is the number one thing. Don't get me wrong. The other cool thing here is there's a lot of great local music, and this isn't just Rome. This is all the way up to the border with Chattanooga. I remember we had people from Center Alabama sending stuff in. Uh, it's a very big footprint. There are lots of great local bands. I know you've heard a lot of them. I've heard a lot of them. A lot of music and I, that's what to me I love this event the most and of course we'll be on we'll be there filming this we'll be you know having stuff online I believe you can go right now to rn-t.com and you can see performances from the last three battle of the bands including the winners and I always thought that every year I, I, I see those performances and I see wow this is talent from our area this is really good talent so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Anything else you want to add about the event? I'm glad that you kind of emphasize the talent because yeah. I think sometimes when people hear local bands yeah. and you know battle the bands, there's like sort of like a stigma attached to it, if you will, and uh, they're like, oh, it's just going to be a bunch of cover bands or something like that. Well, it really hasn't turned out to be that no. way. We allow people to submit covers, but for the most part, we've had original material. Yeah. And, um, and the talent level has just been so tremendous that I think that when people go to it and they think that it's going to be one thing, they come away from the experience saying, holy cow, I can't believe that, and they're blown yeah. away by it. And, uh, and so that's something that really gets me excited about it. And, and I don't think I finished our conversation in terms of the prizes. Certainly. Uh, but this year, we're going to be offering a cash prize. So the Judge's oh, Choice wow. Award winner is going to get a $500 prize. There's a little motivation for the exactly. bands out there. And then the, judge, or the, excuse me, the People's Choice Award winner, uh, as part of their prize package, they're going to get a $200 gift certificate from our buddies over at Stevens Music Company. Oh, that's great. And so, man, this is, um, it's all coming together real nicely, and we're excited about it, and we want, you know, we want the bands to get really behind this. Yeah. And, um, and, and the key is, if I were to give some tips to the bands, this is a contest that you have to work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, obviously, there's the people's choice element for everybody to get to the finals. So even though there's a judge's choice award, you gotta you gotta have the people behind you before you yeah. get to the point to get in front of the judges. And so really it's what you make of it. You can't just submit the MP3, put it out there and say, we should win this. You've really gotta get out there, use your social media, um, send emails to family and friends, you know, really do your best to get out there and push this. And if you do that, you can have some success with it. Definitely so, and, and I'll, I'll second what Matt has said. You know, in the past, we, we've dealt with this, and bands will call and complain. And say, well, I didn't get as many votes as I wanted, and I'm like, well, did you put it on your Facebook page? Did you put it on Twitter? Did you put it on wh wherever it is? Did you text all your friends? Did you email people? There is some work involved, but when you think of the prizes, the venues, what you can possibly win, and the exposure, the sweat equity you put into it, if you get to the finals, is going to be well worth it in the end. Even the sweat equity you put into it, if you don't get in the finals, the name of your band is going to get out there even more. So it is what you make of it. And of course, we've been very lucky. We've had some very talented bands. I can't wait to see what the entries are going to look like this year. And I can't wait. So what's the date of it? It's going to be on the June the 15th at the Historic DeSoto Theater. Yeah. And it will be from 7 until 10. And tickets will go on sale May the 15th. Gotcha. They'll be $10 a pop. And so where else can you go on a Saturday night and spend 10 bucks and get to see four really good bands and then have the opportunity to go out and have a night of beverages with your friends and uh, be around some good people there for a good cause and have a really good time. And it's, it's going to be quite an event. I'm really excited about it. One thing I did not mention, I don't believe, when we were talking about entries, Yes. Um, the deadline is coming up real quick. It's okay. April the 16th, so you need to go ahead and get those in yeah. because that's not too far away. And if I remember correctly, the winners are first year they like entered at the last possible second, if I remember correctly. Is that right? Never had heard of them ever. And yeah. um, you know, Mullins works mm -hmm. with us over at the radio yeah. station on the Northwest Georgia Music Hour, and he's got his finger on the pulse of local music like nobody else I know. Yeah. And he's a huge asset to this event uh, because of that reason and that he's a great guy. Yeah. Um, but you know, he had never even heard of them. Yeah. And they came out of nowhere and they won the thing. And so I'm glad you brought that up too because just because you feel like, even though in some respects it can turn into somewhat of a popularity contest in terms of getting out there and getting people involved, 
um, you could really surprise yourself in terms of how well you can do if you put the effort into it, you know? Definitely, definitely so. And we look forward to promoting it. Obviously, the radio station is going to have these bands on the air. If you're a band, get the info over to Matt so you can get on there. We'll have stuff on the website about it. And we're looking forward to see those top 16 bands in the final four. And of course, look forward to, you know, I don't know if we'll do any spring football, but definitely in the fall with Gridiron Central. I hope my boy will be back with oh, yeah. me. There's no question about that. Gotcha. No question about it. Well, thank you for being here. We got to do the fist bump to end it off. Thanks for the time. I really oh, appreciate anytime, it. Anytime, anytime. It's the Battle of the Bands. Hopefully, it will be a great success, and we're hoping so for Cancer Navigators and for local bands. I'm Jim Allred, and this is Studio Central Face to Face.